If you have been programming for well, any length of time really, then you have almost certainly run into problems with data types and they are the bane of a lot of programmers existence uh, and to really to understand these you need to go back to basics so please have a look at a video about uh, variables or constants uh, if you haven't seen that before because you really need to be able to understand variables and constants to then go understand data types because there are different types of variables and constants if you use the wrong type of variable or constant then you will end up with a logic error i mean at best your program will behave unpredictably at worst it will just full out crash which is kind of the worst kind of logic error you can have so i'm going to cover the main types of data that we can have in a program and what you should choose uh, depending on what kind of data you want to store and i'm going to focus on numbers first and the very first data type we're going to cover is an integer. And if you had a look at our variables and constants video, you get this idea that we store data in boxes. You have different shapes boxes because they've got different types of data. And if I'm storing a number and it's a whole number, whole number, very important, doesn't have a decimal point in, then I want to store it as an integer. OK, and just like uh, in the variables or constants video, I want to name this this variable. So I'm going to call it and let's have count. So it's the idea that it's storing some sort of count or counter that you go counter. So it's going to have whole numbers in it. Next up, then, what if I need to store a variable with a decimal point in? So I'm going to have a different shape box of that because it's a different data type. Uh, and if I need to store something with a decimal point in, then I use a real. Sometimes that is called a float, just to confuse you, um, but often it's more, more likely going to be referred to as a real. And so an example of the kind of data I'd store there was well, set of four, 4.7 and let's say an example for that let's call that weight i'm calling that variable weight because often if you're storing somebody's weight it will be with a decimal point what if i need to store letters or symbols well i've got a couple of options there depending on the number of them that i need to store so uh, let's see if i need to store one so if i just need to store one uh, letter or number then let's say i'm going to store the letter m and pretend that this is clothes sizes uh, so i'll just call this variable size i need to store that as a character so if i'm storing just a single letter or symbol then i need to use a character or often it's just shortened to char next up then i have well, what if i need to store a string of characters so what if i need to store more than one character well it's that's called a string so like i said it's a string of characters that's how you should think of strings so let's draw a longer box for this and let's say i actually want to just have the whole uh word here let's say i want medium so we're doing with clothing sizes um and let's say i've got medium and just to show that i can put symbols in as well i'm going to put an exclamation mark at the end there as well so what should we call this full size i'll call it next up uh, and final one a little bit strange if you well it's got a strange name frankly uh, and that is a boolean so let's draw this as like a circle and booleans are named after a mathematician that's why they're called booleans and that's why they spell a capital letter and they only store the value true or false so we can store true or they can store false they can store nothing else uh, let's call this boolean uh, happy so we'll call this variable there happy all right so they are your five main data types you've got integers reals characters strings and booleans and what kind of data you need to store determines about what kind of data uh, type you need sometimes though you may need to convert from one data type to another and that is a process called casting so let's say for example i have a string and i need to turn that into a, an integer so let's have the number four so it's in this kind of box here and we know it's a string because it's got speech marks around it and then I need to convert it to this type of box here, uh, which is an integer, because, for example, I need to do some maths on it in my program. Well, how do I do that? There's actually a few different ways, and it depends on your programming language. But I'm going to give you a very quick example here on the right hand side. It's going to be in Python, but there will be a way to cast in whatever programming language that you choose to use. You just need to look up how to do it, I guess. So uh, let's say I've got a variable here called user input, um, and that is I'm going to use a, uh, a command called input to get data from the user. So input, uh, enter, count. 
So a question will be put onto the screen, enter count to the user, and then that is gonna get stored as a string because every time I use the input command, I'm going to get a string. I always end up with a string, but sometimes I need to do some maths on uh, some user input. So let's say I'm gonna have my uh, counter variable here. So counter equals, and this is the bit where I'm gonna convert it from a string into an integer. I use the, the letters int and then in brackets, I put the name of the variable that I want to convert into a, uh, an integer. So here I want to convert user input into an integer and what will happen in the background is that we're going to go from this type of box here, this type of box here, to this type of box here and then my computer will be able to do some maths on it. So quick recap then, I've got five variable types you need to know, integer, real, characters, strings and booleans. You need to be aware of which one to use for uh, what kind of data that you will need to store. And then if I need to convert from one data type to another, I need to use this thing called casting. And that is data types. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.